Hey guys, long time no see, haven't done a video in a while. Um, I just wanted to pop on here real quick and show you the junk journal I've, the junk journals I've been making. So this one, um, I made quite a while ago, the cover for it anyway. It was originally supposed to be for a traveler's notebook. Um, so the binding is a little bit different. The fabric is, um, I printed that myself. Um, and then attached it to canvas and then attached the three inserts on the inside. I tab bound them, if that's how you say that, I'm not sure. And then I did have to actually attach the cover of the first insert and the back cover of the last insert to the actual canvas to get it to stick um, because I wasn't able to actually sew this into the cover. Anyways, like I said, there's three total signatures in here. I'll link below how many pages each signature is, or you could slow it down and count them yourself, either way. There's a lot of coffee dyed paper. There is a lot of vintage magazine pages from various magazines, including a publication called The Work Basket. I have a bunch of those from a million years ago. Those pages are pretty delicate, so I did have to reinforce them with washi tape before I stitched these signatures, because the signatures individually are stitched, they're just not stitched into the cover. I have no idea, I cannot remember who this printable kit is by. I didn't use the entire kit, just some of them that I thought went well with the cover. Um, and as you can see, just more vintage magazine pages some coffee dyed pages, some vintage wrapping paper that I thought was pretty and kind of went well, vintage music sheets with that, that blue almost fax ink on it, um, some coffee dyed papers that I dyed using a doily as a stencil, some vintage receipts, lace, more music paper, that's the work basket insert or page. Some more of the printable kit. Um, I live in an area where I can get a lot of vintage papers, so that's kind of cool. There's not a whole lot of embellishments in this because I'm a true journaler, so I like a lot of play space to write, but you can definitely add as much bulk to it as you want. It's fabric cover, so it will hold a lot. And I know at the end of my journals, I do like them quite chunky. Um, what else? Some journaling cards, some old children's dictionary pages, some pretty scrapbook paper. The junk journal kit that's printed is printed on a laser printer, so it will take wet media if you like to paint inside your junk journals. I wouldn't suggest wet media on the vintage magazine or music pages though, because those are super delicate. Um, and then just uh, the back page is a vintage linen printable. So there you go. It is available in my store, which I'll link below if you guys are interested. Thanks for watching.